G'day viewers. Well, we've been talking for a while uh, about online dating and reviewing people's profiles and we've had a lot of feedback on what people think of the various sites and given that we both have experience and Emma's gone out and done a bit of road testing recently, we thought we'd actually give you a direct evaluation of our experience mm. of the sites. Now, first, um, as they say with the good, the bad and the ugly, well, let's start with the ugly. Clearly, there's a consistent experience with the free sites. Oh, yeah. Absolute waste of time, people. If if people aren't putting in the effort and spending a couple of bucks, they're not taking you seriously. They're just looking for cyber sex and chat. Mm. Yeah, and for some people, that's an ad for the sites, effectively. <laughs> yeah. If, if yeah. that's what you're after, that's what you're after. Oasis get. Active, your guide to free cyber sex. Yeah, and the other ones like Plenty of Fish are probably the same. It's essentially... There is, it's, it's not a universal thing, like your, vi your mileage may vary, mm. but when people don't have to put any effort in, um, there's not much that comes out of it. Yeah. It I mean, out. obviously as a female, I've never actually had to pay any money to these sites because of the, the ratios and the way things mm. work. And look, we've discussed this before, it's not a sexist thing, it's just the men tend to be more predatory and they tend to just jump on board so you don't actually have to bother contacting them mm. if you're reasonably... In fact, I think, it, I think it's true for some of the guys too. If you're incredibly hot and you've got a photo of yourself looking like Johnny Depp with the abs of I don't know who, but you know, you probably don't have to spend money either. But be aware that if you don't take the time and effort. Yeah, yeah. And the free sites, while some people have reported very good results from them, they really encourage a very sort of casual, not really spending much effort on them attitude. I did manage to waste an awful lot of time just chatting to people I had no intention of ever meeting. Yeah. So, yeah, if that's your thing, but uh, I think we've both found, uh, if you want to get a result that you're happy with, mm. one of the sites that, to some degree, is paid. Now, we can quickly go through, Emma, you were on eHarmony. E harmony. Oh, they are money grubbing though. They mm. they're at the other end of the scale. You can't yeah. do anything without paying up. You yeah. can't see a photo. You can't nothing. Every single twist and turn is hello. Give us your money now. Yeah. So bugger them. Yeah, and as some people have pointed out before, they have very conservative matching policies. It really is. It's a site for very conservative people, uh, conservative socially, conservative sexually, and, you know, who have some money. It's people who think that a magic algorithm is going to find them their partner, mm -hmm. and they can tick a thing that says, you're not going to get any action till after marriage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, look, seriously, that's who it's for. So, rather than complain about the site, as yeah. some people have, don't use it if that's not your Yeah, thing. and especially when it costs so much bloody cash. I mean, honestly, the, the yeah. $59 a month or some crap, it's not like, it, and you're not like you can even see anybody on there and maybe send a free kiss and then maybe go, oh, actually, I really like this one. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy some stamps. I want to contact this person. You haven't got that, that freedom. Yeah, yeah. Now, love life sucks alls. Yeah. Now, that's interesting because they set themselves up as giving you uh, options of, just being casual, looking for a relationship, or you know, essentially the adult, um, just getting it on for the raunchy yeah. sex. And that's thing. all anyone's on there for. Love mm. life is just everyone's on there to chat instantly again, yeah. like Oasis, in Oasis Active. They just want to chat. They just want to have be in the intimate area. I had profile up in all three areas. The only place any contact was made was in that intimate area, and it was all for sex. Yeah. So again, you want to know what you're getting into. And that whole thing about setting up the three environments, it just ends up making the site too difficult to use as I well. don't know where to get my mail from. I've got three options and three things and smiles and winks and backstages and... Ugh. Um, good one, Aussie Matchmaker. Not bad. Yep. Um, although I don't get a lot of action on there. So, I don't know. Maybe, it, maybe it just doesn't have as many people. Now, one that we've both used and both got good results from uh, an Australian site called RSVP. Yeah, I do like that one. Yeah. Now, again, that one, to make the meaningful contact with people, at least one of you has to pay. So, as I said, it's uh, the guy. It's, it's certainly not unheard of for the ladies to think, no, I want to be selective and I want to make the contact. Mm. But, um, guys, if you want a result, you'll have to go the paid option. Uh, but they have different options and they mm. have different ways of doing it and you can see people's profiles before you pay up. And you can, you've got another aspect where you can pay a little bit of extra money and it's not much, and this is a good one for the girls who aren't paying for stamps, they can see who's looked at them, they can see when their mail's been read. There's mm. a, and they've actually, I think they've just recently made it easier to see people's 
uh, photos if they, they don't have to do, you don't have to type in a stupid password anymore I think they just mm. give you access so it's not a bad one I've met some nice blokes off there and I've got a lot of good friends who are still on there and having a good time so. yeah and I know they they do actually organize social events sometimes yeah. too so it adds that extra layer and I think you mm. can do an instant chat thing on that yes side I think too. you can but I I would recommend people that you stick with emails because they're well considered, you can think about it, you don't get into this intimacy, this false intimacy, before you've actually met someone face to face. Mm. That's the problem with this cyber sex stuff. You get into this amazingly intimate stuff and it's kind of hot and heavy and addictive and... <sighs> Thanks again, guys. Um, but it's not real. There's no chemistry. You don't know this person. They don't look like what their photo is. They, mm. You've got no idea. They disappear the next day. Their profile's gone. Mm. Stick with the emails, keep it nice and polite, and then meet for that coffee once you're feeling comfortable to do that. Yeah, yeah. So, again, your mileage may vary. I'm sure, yeah. given that we've stated our preference, people will come out, which is completely mm -hmm. valid, people will come out and say, oh no, I did that on the free site there. I think the paid ones are yeah. a rip-off. I like the free ones. We'll uh, get adult, different results. Adult Matchmaker, I was, oh, yes. on the, I, I, I was on 10 different sites this week. I was Girls Date for Free, uh, Lava Life, Oasis, uh, RSVP, um, a whole bunch of LZ Matchmaker, Match.com. I did them all. And um, yeah, Adult Matchmaker is another actually very good site um, because it's, it's moderated well. It's actually the same as Aussie Matchmaker. But again, moderated properly. People have to send the wink, then they have to send the message. Uh, just... Again, guys, just because it's a sex site, you don't have to be a wanker. Yes. Again, the whole rule. If you want to be, guys, if you want to be ahead of 99% of your competition on any of these sites, just make a small effort. In fact, you don't have to do anything special. Just don't be an idiot. Yeah. And be polite and seductive mm. and suggestive. Not, here's my cock. Want to suck it? Not going to get me going and hot for you, baby. Yeah. And especially when... You're sorry, you're way out of the age range I've specified. You're way over the weight range I've specified. You're way bolder, uglier, horribler, and more cock out than I specified. And you've gone, what colour panties are you wearing? Yeah, not a great opening line. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. Won't be dating you. Oh, adult friend finder. I found that one a bit interesting because I accidentally got made a boy to start with. Yeah, I know. Um... <laughs> And suddenly there was all these messages from all these girls. And it was all like, oh, come and look at me. I'm going to come now. Oh, come and look at me. Yeah, I'm going to do... And it's like, these girls did not look real to me. I don't know. But I'm just saying, be wary of some of the uh, sex sites. Be wary of these... Again, that's why I suggest your emails rather than your instance chats. Mm. Bots don't email and talk like normal human beings. They will do people who are being paid to do instant chats with you to keep you in there and keep mm. you subscribing just saying yeah yeah you'll soon find out when it's a pay-per-view option I mm. think, with those things yeah so yeah go in with your eyes open and being a bit cautious and that's another way when we're saying you know the take it a bit more gently route you're also protecting yourself yeah. in those things yeah. from these sites are not immune to scams uh, mm. Some have been accused of being nothing but scams, but even the good sites aren't immune to it. Mm. So take it easy and you lessen your chance of that sort but of thing. But yeah, here in Australia, I'd go RSVP. Mm. Uh, and to, that's our official seal of approval. <laughs> the Mistress M seal of approval. Uh, when I've got a, li when I've got a um, profile up, guys, that's where you'll find me. I think the subscription rate for the site just went up <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> mm. Mm. But whatever you do, as we always say, have fun. Yeah. Enjoy. Bye.